Hi class, I am by no means an expert in severe weather. I enjoy watching a good thunderstorm, uh, but I really have not studied uh, severe weather. And so I'm gonna cover for you in like three minutes uh, what I know about tornado formation. And so what I do know is that tornado formation starts hours and hours before severe weather even starts. Uh, the initial conditions, uh, probably, you know, if, you, if your th thunderstorm that creates a tornado uh, occurs in the late afternoon, these um, situations, um, the, the initial conditions actually were probably started 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. And so it's well before, and these initial conditions, they happen all the time. It doesn't mean that a tornado is going to form, uh, but they are needed in order for a tornado to form. Okay, So you need to have a horizontally spinning tube of air to start with. And you get that through one of two methods. Either you get a change in wind direction with height, so for example, Maybe we have a wind at the surface, okay, coming perhaps from the south, okay, and so let's write that down. So we have a south wind at the surface, okay, and perhaps we have a westerly wind. at, um, let's say, 5,000 feet. That's kind of an arbitrary number that I'll use, okay? So you have air coming at the surface, okay? From the south, you have air at a higher altitude. Uh, again, I'm using 5,000 feet. And what this will do is this will create a horizontally spinning tube of air at the surface. Well, surface up to 5,000 feet. Okay. And again, this happens all the time. It doesn't mean that there's a tornado that's going to form. But you have to have this uh, initial formation uh, in order for uh, a tornado to be created. Another way that you can get this horizontally spinning tube of air is that you can have a, a change in wind speed with height. So uh, once again, let's have uh, a wind coming uh, at the surface. So perhaps a uh, south wind at the surface, uh, and let's say it's at maybe 20 miles per hour. Okay. And then um, perhaps, again, at 5,000 feet, <clears throat> maybe we have a, a south wind. Uh, at 5,000 feet. And maybe this wind is at uh, 45 miles per hour. Okay, and so what you're going to have is you have uh, air at the surface, you have a faster wind coming at 5,000 feet, and so that's going to create a tumbling effect, and that's going to create our horizontally spinning tube of air. Okay, so either of these situations, change in wind direction with height or a change in wind speed with height, can lead to this horizontally spinning tube of air. And this is a, you know, in diameter, this is a very big uh, horizontally spinning tube of air. I mean, we're, we're talking, you know, five, maybe even 10,000 feet in diameter, okay? But again, it, it doesn't mean that a tornado is going to form. It's just one of the... Uh, necessary ingredients for a tornado to form. This happens all the time, okay, and um, it, it, it doesn't mean that a tornado is going to form. All right, but the, again, once again, this is a horizontally spinning tube of air. In order for a tornado to form, you gotta you gotta make that horizontally spinning tube of air. You gotta make it vertical. And so, how do we make a horizontally spinning tube of air vertical? It is, once again, uh, thanks to updrafts. Okay, so let me get this. All right, so 
here we have uh, surface. Right. And let's get our um, cumulonimbus cloud drawn. All right, so there's our cumulonimbus cloud. We've got our horizontally spinning tube of air. I'll draw that here, just a little piece of it. Okay, so how do we get this thing from horizontal to vertical? Okay, that's all the role of the updrafts again. So remember, in a cumulonimbus cloud, the updrafts, uh, well, in the cumulus stage of uh, thunderstorm development, you have updrafts throughout. But during the mature stage of thunderstorm development, we've got updrafts in this back corner of a thunderstorm. Okay, and that's going to take this horizontally spinning tube of air and it's going to make it vertical. It's still not a tornado. Okay, don't get me wrong, this is still not a tornado. This happens all the time. But the stronger the updraft draft is, the more likely this spinning tube of air is going to become a tornado. Okay, so probably should make note of that. Um, the stronger the updraft Okay, this is going to uh, stretch the tube. Okay, and when it stretches the tube, it actually, um, so this updraft is gonna carry uh, this, this now vertically spinning tube of air higher up in the cloud and when it does it's going to stretch it like a spring and when it stretches it like a spring it's going to draw that horizontally spinning tube of air i'm sorry vertically spinning tube of air closer together okay and so um, this vertically spinning tube of air gets thinner, okay? And when it gets thinner, it spins more, it spins faster. Gets thinner and spins faster. So the perfect example here, if you've ever watched figure skating, when a figure skater goes um, into a spin, they have their arms out, okay? And they're spinning along, but as they draw their uh, arms in, okay, as they become thinner, they spin faster, okay? It's called the uh, conservation of angular momentum, okay? And so if this updraft creates this spinning tube of air throughout the cloud, it's going to get thinner and it's going to rotate faster and faster and faster. Okay, and that tornado may drop down out of the cloud. Okay, so again, oh man, that took a bit more than three minutes, but um, that is how, uh, in a nutshell, how a tornado forms. It starts out as a horizontally spinning tube of air because you have a change in wind direction with height or a change in wind speed with height. Then the updraft makes it, uh, turns it from horizontally spinning to vertically spinning. And if that updraft is strong enough, it is going to um, tighten that rotation. And the tighter the rotation, uh, the faster the air spins. Okay? And if you get it spinning uh, fast enough, you'll create a tornado. So these are, are actually very rare events. Okay? It's um, the horizontally spinning tube of air that we drew in this. This is very, very common. Okay? But you've got to have just the right ingredients to create a tornado, okay? So, um, so again, that, uh, in a nutshell, is how a tornado is created.